Okay, so uh, basically, I'm watching the highs. I'm watching, uh, I want to see them cup up, maybe take a rejection off the top, waiting for the trend. Um, watching the view out. Just watching this uh, monthly, monthly level that we're at and weekly levels. Real basic on the technicals. Today I'm going to keep it nice and simple. I'm going to half size today. Uh, multiple reasons I'm going to half size today. Uh, one, we have big data coming in uh, later on in the week. Uh, volume has been really low. Uh, when things uh, usually Mondays and when volume is low, I like to um, trade very small, half size. Uh, I might trade uh, ES Mini instead of ES today. Uh, I'm going to take profits quickly um, because of the low volume. And uh, I'm going to try to walk away. Uh, one of the main things I will be doing today is uh, I'll be waiting for cl clean breaks. Um, I will size down and I will walk away after uh, my setups. I will not overtrade. Uh, I've been having a lot of problems um, after uh, my initial trade. After it goes in my favor and the trade is uh, successful, I will try to fade that that initial position. So today I'm gonna uh, I will stay away from that. I've already completed uh, the matrix. I'm, uh, I think I might need a little help on the matrix. I'm not too familiar. I've read the examples. Um, Another thing I'll be watching is uh, I'm going to watch what NQ, NVIDIA, Apple, Microsoft uh, will be doing. They're more or less going to set the pace for me. Um, just watching the highs, the highs that we hit on Friday, see if we can break above that and continue with the trend, letting the EMAs guide us. If not, I'm looking for a breakdown uh, pretty much below uh, yesterday's uh, Friday's lows or pre-market lows, and I'll be looking to take a short um, for a nice little, nice little push down. Uh, but like I said, I'll be taking profits quickly today. That's one of the things I'll be trying to keep in mind. Monday, low volume, uh, big data, anticipating big data in the next couple of days, CPI, PPI. Um, so uh, usually I like to get the bigger move the day before the data or the day of the data, right? Uh, I noticed a few days before, like I said, low volume, a lot of chop. So uh, any trades I'll be taking today will be uh, half size, and uh, I will be taking profits today. So uh, that is my pre-market session. Another rule I will be uh, following that I like to follow is no trades until 30 minutes of the session, all right? I want a range to be built. I want people to get faked out. I want people to get washed out, and then... I will start trading. I'm looking to maybe trade one to two hours to today, and that's it. Um, again, uh, I think. Immediately, uh, 10 hours later. Good day. Um, so, uh, I have one trade running left, which is a runner, and it's a break even. Uh, it'll be a stop loss at break even, and I'm just gonna let it run for the rest of the day. Uh, today, I followed my rules. Um, one thing I did do is that I did overtrade. Um, I was up a little bit more today, uh, but uh, yeah, I was up a little more. But what can I what can I do? You know, uh, overtraded definitely. Um, I took my profits a little early today, but um, I'm okay with that because uh, I'm, I'm anticipating chop, right? And, uh, you know, the volume is still low. Uh, I waited for my rules. Uh, today I waited for the break below the 50 MA and break below the pre-market low. And uh, I took uh, a short position. I was able to write it out. Like I said, I followed my rules. I followed my plan. Um, I didn't oversize today. I half sized today. Even though I said I was going to start with the micros, I started with the minis. Um, after initial profits, I did switch over to the minis, so uh, I was over trading in the minis. Uh, gave up initially about four hundred dollars of profit. I'm uh, I'm up six six thirty eight on the day on uh, seven seven accounts. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and lock myself out so I don't continue to over trade. Uh, basically, I uh, today was a good day. 
Uh, do you, after this point uh, is usually when I have problems. Uh, what happens is uh, I start to overtrade and uh, things like that. So uh, I come to find out if I leave one small runner just like this and um, kind of just let it go, don't take profits, kind of just let it go to break even on the last runner, it'll keep me from overtrading. So um, as soon as this trade is, is over with, either it, uh, it hits the TP or hits the uh, break even, I will go over here and I will uh, lock myself out. And it will lock me out of, out, of, out of all my accounts. So kind of just waiting here more or less, um, letting the EMAs guide me. Uh, once I get a, a clean break of the 50 EMA on the five minute, uh, for me this trade would be invalid. Uh, reason I'm saying that is because I took it on the break of the nine EMA, a clean break of the nine EMA. As soon as I had a, a clean break of the nine EMA, I used the nine EMA as a stop loss, looking for a clean break above, then I would exit. But um, as always, uh, it held the nine and continued with the trend and I continued to take profit. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna call it a day here, even though I don't, I, um, just call it a day. Oh no, call it, call it, uh, call it a day here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and lock myself out. Yes, lock me out. Okay, so, um, officially locked out all of my accounts. Uh, $800 profit on the day on seven accounts. Uh, feel good. Um, I feel good that I have the rest of my day to myself and um, hoping to hear some tips from you or some feedback. Thank you. I uh, appreciate it.